Hey everyone, welcome to the Fortress of Solitude podcast. I'm your host, Sergio Pereira, and today we've got a really special, special guest for you. It's someone that we really, really love, and we've been going nuts about it for a while, and um, it's Lewis Tan, the brand new star of the Mortal Kombat movie, and we got a chance to chat to him. Here it is. Thank you, and Lewis, thank you so much for joining us. How are you, Yes, yeah, my pleasure. Thank you so much. And obviously, first of all, congratulations on the role. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, I mean, the first thing is that when you were cast in this role, your role wasn't immediately announced. You know, it was a bit of a secret and lots of rumors and a little bit of, uh, you know, speculation going online. But how difficult was it to keep this a secret from everyone else? Well, it was difficult because about a year went by and... Um before I was able to say anything and before that was able to be announced. So, you know, I mean, a role like this in this capacity, something that I've been working on in an action movie of this caliber has been something that I've been putting all my effort into. So, you know, just being able to even talk about that alone is hard. And then yeah, it, was, uh, it was hard to hold my tongue, man. And um, I'm actually never got out it's a miracle a miracle that it never got out cool now obviously with Cole being a new character to the MK universe there's a lot of expectation from the fans out there now honestly are you waiting for the day that Cole becomes a part of the MK games oh I can't wait for that man you know I played the video game I have the new one for Xbox yeah man I, I, I would I would love to be able to say that I have a video game character and uh, love to be able to play some of the fans and um with using my own character. <laughs> That's a dream come true, man. <laughs> now, awesome. I mean, I'm glad you said that you're an MK fan because you've got the new game. I've also got the new game, but I've got to be honest, I'm partially favorable to Mortal Kombat 2. So which one is your favorite version of the game as well? Mortal Kombat Trilogy, I like the Sub-Zero, the Sub-Zero storyline one, I forget the title of it, it's like, uh, it's about the, the, the Shaolin Monks, I, th I think it's called Shaolin Monks or something, and then I like the newest one, the newest one is Unreal, and um, when I when I first got the newest version of the game, I hadn't played video games, I, I hadn't played a fighting game in maybe three years, three, four years, because I was working so much. So I hadn't, I hadn't had the opportunity to, 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 to play Mortal Kombat yet. So when I got it, I was shocked because it's just, uh, it's so well done. And it, it, it really is a classic for a reason. And I think it's lasted so many years because not only because of the characters, but from how well they've actually made the game and the gameplay. So Mortal Kombat shows is, is the first one. Ah, awesome. And the newest one is my favorite. Fantastic, man. And then obviously, as you mentioned, I mean, the, the Mortal Kombat franchise are so rich like it's got a lot of characters it's got a lot of mythology going on and there's a promise that this movie is going to be true to the franchise and at the same time that also means that you can't include every single character from that's out there but i'm interested more to find out about cole has it been any discussions about the character's arc and overall plans for the franchise i mean i think i read somewhere um i think it could have been on your twitter or something that you have a multi-film option deal so is this is there discussion for like you know cole's journey to continue beyond the, this current film well i mean I, I would hope so i mean i think that you know with the thing of hope's character is it's like every video game, right? Like, like, like we were discussing. You know, the first video game, you know, had only a few characters, and now we're we're somewhere in the hundreds uh, of Mortal Kombat <laughs> characters. Yeah. The world is really vast and really expensive, you know. So it's the same, I think. You know, in the way that 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 we're approaching the film, in a way that we want to honor and respect you know, and pay homage to the old stuff that the fans really love. And there's a lot of, like Easter eggs and, and, and secrets in there that if you're a fan of Mortal Kombat, you're going to recognize things. Like even, you know, the little clips that have already been released, you know, the fans are like, oh my God, that's, you know, that's like this thing for Sub Zero, like when he's making the ice. And you know, there's, there's tons of these Easter eggs in the film. But at the same time, we want to create something new and have a new experience, um, just like they do in, in the video games. So I think that Cole is um, is a cool character to kind of like introduce in, into this crazy, you know, world of Mortal Kombat and, it's, and 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 kind of like show all the things that the fans really want to see through through Cole Rise as a protagonist. But then at the same time, he's very unique as a character in his own sense, and hopefully. If people like it enough, then um, we can keep expanding it. And, you know, I would, I would personally love that. And uh, I would, uh, 
it was a tricky one to play because of the pressure, you know, playing a new character in such a beloved um, franchise. Yeah. Laid on, on my shoulders, you know, but, um, but, but thankfully, I think, you know, my martial art background and, and, uh, and what, what I can bring to the character authentically with my martial arts skills, I think is a big, is a, is a huge bonus to give it an authenticity. And, yeah. you know, I'm happy to do that. Awesome, man. And uh, obviously, we've all been promised fatalities, which, I mean, I'm down for that. I mean, we all are down for that. That's that's the reason we're going to tune into the Mortal Kombat movie. We know that. And, like, tons of action. And, now, obviously, you're a martial artist yourself, and I know a lot of the other guys, like Joe Taslam as well, they've got, like, real martial arts backgrounds. Now, obviously, on set, such a physical movie, would anybody catch a roundhouse kick to the face? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Um... Well, look, you know, it's one of those things, it, it's inevitable that this is going to happen. Um, I would say that, that for the amount of places that we went to, the amount of insane, you know, locations all over Australia, and for the amount of fight scenes that we did, um, we did a pretty good job avoiding injuries. But, yeah, it, it's bound to happen. You're bound to get hit with some sort of weapon or, you know, kicked in the head or... Um, many other things I don't want to give away too much about what happens with the fight scenes but yeah it was uh, it's bound to happen and it happened uh, it happened a few times but um <laughs> it comes with the territory you know and like and like you're saying as a martial artist myself it's important to me that I'm, I'm there doing all these fights you know there's no fight double in this movie for me this is 100% me fighting in, in this film and that was important even though it was exhausting because um, you know, it, it tells the story. It's not just in the dialogue. It's, it's my character's performance is like a dance and it tells its own story. And so I have to be the one doing all the martial arts and all the fights and all the action, especially in a, in a project like this, where that is the center point. So, um, it's, it's very important to me that, that, um, not just for my own legacy, but, you know, to make the film authentic. So, you know, that comes with being banged up and bruised and cut and sore and, and uh, no sleep. And, but it's worth it. It's worth it to me. It's worth every second because now it's on there and it's forever. And hopefully the fan really enjoy it. Awesome, man. And now, obviously, this isn't your first interaction with the Mortal Kombat franchise. I mean, uh, I believe you were involved. I think it was called Generations. It was part of the legacy sort of project, the, the web series. And it obviously never got released, I mean, for whatever reason. So... I can imagine, you know, somebody who's played the game, it must have been very disappointing. But when this offer came for this movie, were you just determined, you're saying, you know what, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to kick as, as more ass than even possible than I was in Generations? I think that's my goal with every project, you know, and I, I think that, to be honest with you, you know, when, when, when the project first came to me, I was, I had some concern about taking the role just because of the caliber of, of, of what comes with it and you know the weight of what comes with it and and, and, I, and I wanted to make sure that it was going to be done properly so, so I didn't know who was involved at this point I didn't have read the script yet I didn't know who was directing it I just knew you know it hadn't been made in 20 years and I'm not going to be the one to wrap it up <laughs> that's all I knew so, you know and so but once I started to learn more about about the project and once I had a talk with Simon McCoy the director and I found out and, and I heard I heard some of the score that Benjamin Walfish did and talking to Simon and hearing the score, I was like, I care about this movie. <laughs> this movie, something completely on a new level, you know? And the way that they understood the, the background of Mortal Kombat, uh, you know, there's a lot that, that has happened in that world and, and they knew all about it, you know? And um, to me, that showed me that they cared. And then the third thing that really cemented it for me was when I found out they, they hired Joe Taslam as a hero. Then I was like, okay, oh, yeah. it's going to be something really special and I, and I need to be a part of it. Um, but, it but even then, you know, I, after I signed on, it's still one of those things where I, I care a lot about it. You know, I, I don't just care about it for me. I care about it to, to make sure that everybody that has, you know, um, followed this franchise for decades, that they're proud of it. Awesome, and I mean, speaking of Joe, I mean, he is right now one of the hottest like martial artists out there. I mean, The Night Comes From Us, what a movie. Like that is seriously like 
probably my top five movies of all time. Like, I really love it. Do you think that he's like gearing up to become like the next big thing? Like th- literally the next big action star that everybody has him in a movie? I wouldn't be upset if that happened. I mean, Joe, uh, I'm a huge fan of Joe. Yeah. A huge reason why I signed on to the film. You know, as you know, uh, from my previous work, I just worked with Iko Uis from The Raid yes. uh, on, on my series, Who Was That? So, you know, I got to work with both of these guys from Louis Asset, uh, from, from The Raid. And The Raid and The Night Comes For Us is kind of like, that's where the bar was set. You know, the bar was set at The Raid and The Night Comes For Us as far as action martial arts films are concerned. And, you know, arguably even just action film. Like, it's one of the greatest action films ever made. So because I'm such a big fan, you know, it was an honor to be able to work with Joe. And not only is he incredible, he's a great actor. A lot of people don't know that about Joe, you know, because he hasn't really been given that chance in mainstream uh, Western cinema yet. And um, he's an incredible person. He's very kind and generous and collaborative. And he does his own shit too, you know? And um, he... He he's willing to to to, to bleed and, and, and be bruised up for the for the for the character and I respect that because that's how I feel. So uh, it was a pleasure to work with Joe Caslum and um, and if he, if he becomes the next big action star then that's great and maybe we can do more movies together. Fantastic. And finally, tell us how cool is Cole's finishing move said to be? I mean, no spoilers here, but I mean, you got to compete with Shao Kahn slamming someone's head so hard that it comes out of the ass. <laughs> Again, man, you know, there's so many cool fatalities in the film, and that was one of the things that I was like, wow, you know, wh- how are we going to even compete with all, you know, with with Scorpion and with some, you know, with these, these characters that everybody has loved so much. Um, and I'll say this, you know, we delivered something very new, and and I think it holds up. I think Cole can hold his own, and I really, I really believe that. Um, which is hard because you know they've really done, they've done a lot with the series and with the characters. Um, so so to see something new and fresh and kind of um, inventive in the Mortal Kombat world is very challenging. Um, and I think we accomplished that, and um, I hope that. I hope that the fans feel the same way. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Lewis, for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, and I can't wait to see the movie and can't wait to see you in the sequel. Oh, my pleasure, brother. I appreciate it, man. Uh, anytime you want to chat, um, I'm down. Thanks for listening. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the Fortress of Solitude podcast. And let us know what else you'd like to hear in the future. And maybe give some suggestions. And did you enjoy the chat with Lewis? Let us know. Till next time. Cheers.